Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I am still having some technical issues which is just super super fun. If anybody knows a solution for the blurry text let me know because I can't figure it out. Well I can but it keeps unfixing itself. Anyway also I was doing some inventory stuff off screen like off camera you know just trying to organize some things put stuff into wares and I was like oh, maybe I'll take I'll put Will back and I'll bring out somebody else you know. So I went up to talk to him just as I realized that like, oh no, it's the other one-eyed guy. No. And so he does say something about, he's like, welcome to the one-eyed club, you know? Um, he's like, you know, not to dis, you know, not to play down, you know, all that poking and prodding, but you'll get used to the prosthetic in no time. And he's like, and anyway, he's like, I find it adds an air of mystery. He's like, what's more intriguing than a woman with one eye? And then I was like, Please stay here. <laughs> and I think I'm actually going to bring him and I'm going to leave Shadowheart behind. Um, so I'm going to bring out Asterion, Will, and what's his name over there? Gale, who just ate my stuff and now has to earn his keep. So come back. I had a dream last oh. night. A vivid one. And so did you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and oh. promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower okay. me. Okay. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is. The tadpole's little trick. Oh, that's a good point, honestly. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by elithid worms. Um... I think he's right, like as a pal- Oh, also, yeah, you can see a little bit closer in the conversations. Um, we should have as little to do with these tadpoles as we can. Well said. This dream figure is not I feel like she would, like, hesitate. She'd be like, hmm. That's the spirit. She'd be like, I think maybe he's right. Like, that's a good point, you know? Let's see if Gail has anything. I didn't think- I didn't think anybody else would have it. I thought it was gonna be an only me thing. I wonder if they have different guardians, or if they're the same one? My apologies. Huh. Not quite myself just yet. I had the strangest dream last night. A visitor came to me. A vision of unparalleled beauty and power. She told me she was watching over me, protecting me, and that our tadpoles could prove beneficial if we embrace what powers they have to offer. An uncanny apparition. I'm not entirely sure what to make of it. Awkward. <laughs> Sometimes there's awkward pauses. I had the same dream, a similar visitor with similar message. Very curious. In all my readings on the effects of illithid parasites, I've never come across any accounts of correlating dreams between infected parties. Oh, dang. Another unique quality of our predicament, perhaps. Hmm. Are you inclined to take these visitors at their word? Well, now it's like, oh, that's a good point. Like, he's read studies and stuff. And it's like, ugh, like nobody knows what to think about all this, you know? Um, I'm not sure. Such an apparition has its own motives, whatever it told us. Nothing wrong with maintaining a healthy suspicion in such matters. Still, it might be wiser to keep an open mind on the matter. Our visitors' promises of aid might yet bear valuable fruit. Okay, I, this will be interesting to get everybody's point of view on this. No! Okay, let's make it see this. Um, I was wondering, that condition of yours, why does it require magic? Think of it as... Tribute. Are you a warlock? The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. I am super curious. I wouldn't mind if the eyeball was like just plain white, like more like um, what you call it, um, Will's. Like I like Will's. Mine has more color in it than I would like. Mm. Okay, 
Well, I am gonna double check with everybody what they think, but I'm gonna tell Shadowheart to stay behind, and I'm gonna bring... Is that, like, the way out? Where does that go? Forsooth, where does it lead? Because our map is just really... God, I just wander... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna wander around the campsite and see what happens. <sighs> also, I am really hoping... I have, I have been doing reworks on, like, the settings over... I've been resetting my settings. I've been doing all kinds of things to try to fix things. I'm really hoping that this works and as far as I can tell so far nothing's been like on my end. Like I remember I was having some troubles where it was like really bad on my end so I'm sure it was really obvious on your guys' end. She just... she's just throwing it back. I have something to ask. Glick. I had a dream. As we all did I suspect. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. The parasite has taken root, it would seem. Mm. Every word, every promise, it is geek deception. All right, I'm going to be undecided on this. As you wish. Bye, Asterian. I'm like, oh, what's he reading? But it's probably... Also, it's so... F My friend pointed this out last night. I was playing a little bit with her because I got really, really frustrated in the game. Um, which I have gotten a lot of advice since then to hopefully help me out. But, like... My friend is like, it's so funny that, like... He's got, like, just straight up, like, bottles of blood in here. He's got an empty blood bank jar. He's got blood here. He's got blood here. And then he's like... He's like, oh, by the way, I have something to tell you. And it's like, my guy, you aren't exactly subtle. Also, can he even see himself in the mirror? Is that a Baldur's Gate vampire thing? Can they freaking... Do they have reflections? Or is he just doing that? Because I don't have a reflection. I stood over there last night to see if I had a reflection in it. And the game isn't that advanced. Which is fine. Doesn't need to be. I had the strangest dream now. There was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our hands. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. Well, now I feel like my guardian just like supplanted, you know what I mean? She had to do the exact same thing with all of us and just like supplanted us like all at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> I did. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. You're okay with that? I don't trust it. Is there a reason you're such an utter drunk? <gasps> I mean, do you have some sort of condition? <laughs> Honestly, it's like you hate good news. <laughs> do you actually want something? Or are you just here to spoil my fun? But, but, okay, bye. You big... <laughs> I was here to spoil... My guy, it's a freaking illithid parasite in our heads. And you're okay with that? You're okay with that? Just chilling? You're like, let's use those powers. I'm like, I feel like using those powers is actually bad. I'm taking your plant. Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones. Mm -hmm. Also, how do you keep your hair looking so nice? After all this time camping. Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. This must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole, use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess in the waking world or otherwise. I feel like I already asked her these. The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Okay, never mind. This is not holy moly. Um. Why would Shah subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. 
Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. I wonder if she's gonna have a crisis of faith at some point. What causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. I chose that scar so well. <laughs> How can you manage living with such a thing? It's less difficult than you might imagine when you can't remember life without it. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. That's true. That last bit. People people are willing to go through a lot as long as it means something. Like she said. Like as long as you think there's not just needless suffering. And that is often what a lot of religions talk about too. Is that like, you know, anything you go through now is to make you stronger. You know, as a person and... And some people like that, some people don't like that. You know, like some people don't like that explanation, and some people do. Uh, okay, so you knew more than you were letting on. I hope you'll be more honest with me. She's only... I hate stupid questions like this, because it's like she's being as honest as she can. Her memories are literally repressed. I'll try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. Okay, bye. If you're sure. Yeah, I am. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, why did I receive a mysterious artifact? Eh? Why did... I didn't ask for that. That's hers. Oh, I get it because she's left my party and are using it to... Okay, that's weird. We're using it to protect ourselves. Um, but... Yeah, she wouldn't just hand it to me. She's like canonically stated that she's the one who's going to take care of it. How can I help? Come with me. With pleasure. Lead on. Yes, I want, um, oh, can he, dang it, he can't level up yet, um, let's see, oh, these two are not too bad, they're a little, they're moderately beefy, this one, he's not super great, but I'm the beefiest, I'm just gonna have to have Will at the front with me, I'm a little worried, but warlocks are a little tougher than, they're, well, they're tougher than wizards, anybody's tougher than a wizard, um, I want to go over here. I want to see what's over here. Forsooth. What mysteries are in my camp? But yeah, I hope I can change my eye color. Oh, is this it? This is all I can do? I thought, I thought this was a door. Apparently it is not a door. Interesting. Oh, I wonder if when we get Carlac, that's where Carlac will stay? I don't know. Or maybe that's where somebody will stay eventually, like a, like another shop type person, like Wither. Alright, let's be gone. I would like to bring the dog with me. tussled with hill giants without breaking a sweat. Now, a mere werebear could swap me halfway to arm. Strange things are happening to us. Festers in our minds may well impel our bodies. Wait, what? He was saying that he could, he could wrestle with the best of them. Oh, hey, I have Asterion here. You tracked me down again, my friend. Would that I had as much luck with the beast I'm hunting. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. Who? <laughs> I knew you were a jackass, but a racist. I'm. That is a bit. Um. That is a bit much. 
Oh, but then I don't want to be a total jerk. Um, I kind of want to let this play out. Okay, but let me think, let me think. How about a paladin? Mm. I do want to know what a gur is. He wasn't very specific. A mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, <laughs> your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. Well, I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. So what monster are you hunting? Something terrifying, no doubt. Dragon? Cyclops? Kobold. Kobold. Nothing so dramatic. I'm hunting for a vampire spawn. I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out. If I can afford her blood price. A vampire spawn? Kid, this guy's a sucky vampire hunter. He's a sucky monster hunter. When as soon as Asterion talks, his teeth poke out. Like it's very obvious. Um, boo, you're asking. No, okay. Say nothing. It is a sacred mission from the head of my tribe. She sent me here to capture the beast and return it to her. Capture, and bring it where? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. Yeah. Oh, oh dang it! Also, his teeth were doing a weird things. Uh, how do you capture a vampire exactly? At night, of course. Beyond that, I will say no more. There are some trade secrets we cannot share. <gasps> That's why he doesn't oh, think sensible. he's a vampire. We should go, but you have fun tracking your monster. Uh, interesting. I keep forgetting. So vampires are apparently not supposed to walk around in the daytime, but he can. Why can't I ask him about that? What is he doing? What is his face? Why do their faces make such... W like, if you hold still long enough, their face is just like... <laughs> they just, like, move around, and it's like, it's one thing to, like, have, like, a, you know, like, do what I'm doing, like, you're blinking... Maybe your mouth moves a little bit, but like him and Shadowheart both, like they're like, like they're having these like whole facial dances. It's hilarious. Safe travels. Thank you. Treating with a hack. I need all the luck I can get. My Maybe poor desktop. Kind. My poor desktop is going. You again. <gasps> Why is he so mean? Hang on. I only want nice people. Oh no, that's weight. Um, he doesn't hate me that much. Man. He's pretty neutral. Why is he being so mean to me? I'm not in a, I'm not in a good place for that right now. I wanna go I wanna go find Carlac. I am together. Aren't you? Um sure. In silence. I did not hear that again. I cannot hear anything. Also, apparently the trolls that are over here somewhere, you can actually oh, Wait, here they are. I think they're in here. Yes, they're in here. Ew, oh, he was, like he was eating an arm. Oh, no, cheeky. Tastes <laughs> like fish. Gentlemen, oh. contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. Lump the enlightened. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. 
The mark is her measure. Shows the brand of the absolute. Um, you're quite eloquent for an ogre. I kind of want to. I want to say that. We'll see if I can do it later. We'll try to do the paladin intimidation. Try to eat me, and I'll brand your corpse with the mark of my oath. Oh no, I don't have Shadow Heart here. She's been incredibly useful. Ooh, I intimidated the pants off you guys. Food? No, not food. Too tough for your digestion, I fear. Perhaps friend, then. <sighs> friend. You are quite the articulate. Oh, look at her. Gail's just standing right behind. He's got just standing in a row back there. They actually look so hilarious. You are quite the articulate ogre. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind. Oh, I see. I am a gourmet. Mm -hmm. And you, a delicacy. Unless you bear the mark of her. How can they not tell that I have... Everybody else has been able to tell that I have a tadpole in my head. Will's just like eyeing this one closest to us. Like, don't you try anything. Yeah, I noticed you don't bear a brand of your own. I've no use for the absolute. Or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. Oh. No talk. Um, forget goblins, you should be fighting for me. I don't think any of these these guys are probably not going to like that, but let's see. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and <laughs> Oh my gosh, this guy. <laughs> Make me an offer. Tempt me. Hmm. Paladin Intimidation. Fight for me and my oath, or I'll cut the last wheel from your belly. Let's give it a. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, I need Shadow Heart. Oh my gosh. Yes. Some luck at last. Calm now. Famished though we are, we are friends, are we not? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. I trust you implicitly. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises and never a moment before. Or he'll eat me. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. I see, I see. So, uh. <laughs> I love her eyebrow cork. Uh, if I had summoned him near a town, the people would get eaten. Uh, I've seen few other ogres in these parts. We follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. <laughs> She's like, hmm, indeed, I see. We will keep close when you are ready. Sound uh, I want to sick these guys on the knolls. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Oh, they just dis they just disappeared into thin air. Awesome. That scared me. For half a second. Anything of you? Might be worth a look. What's worth the look? Oh, a cracked support beam. Uh, was that what well, was that like what was the point of that I 
do miss the gate, though. The Elf Song Tavern, sunset over Grey Harbor, fried fish at the docks. Drunk young patriarchs naked in the fountains. <laughs> oh, civilization. Oh, civilization. He's such a fop. That's what I've decided. The Daring Durgar. Can I read it? In the deep city of Graxwobo lived a young Durgar named Shil who could conjure eerie whispers in his brother's minds. Eager to, eager to develop his psionic powers and take over the clan, he asked the godfather who could teach him further. Across the dark lake on the shore, south shore, there is a chasm, said the godfather. Within the chasm lives a rogue mind flare called Ear. It will teach you all you must know. That sounds like a terrible idea. Sure's voyage was fraught with danger. He fended off aboliths and cloakers alike until he reached the mind flare's chasm. Ear emerged from its hole, tentacles writhing. I am here to learn, Shul told it, told it very well, came the response. On the first moon's passing, Ear taught Shul how to read minds. On the second, it taught Shul how to bend them. This was not enough for Shul. He wanted to destroy minds with a mere word. So be it, said Ur, your ear, and it bestowed a blessing on Shul. It is yours, the knowledge to shatter a single mind. But you may only speak the command once, Ear told Shul, for then it is forever forgotten. Oh no, I see where this is going. Ready to assume control of his clan, Shul returned to Graxla. Show me what you have learned, the godfather told Shul. Shul grinned, spoke the command, and his own skull shattered before the godfather's eyes. Said the godfather, the lesson is complete. Yikes. Yeah, you speak it once and then it will be forever forgotten because you're dead. A is for Azuth and other gods. Um. So this is the M. Mistra, I have, um, I made a dragon one that looks like an axolotl, and her, she's a cleric, and she's dedicated to Mistra. Melel is the lord of song. Pray to him for inspiration. Hear his call and sing along. Let his art be your salvation. Mirkul is the lord of death, of hopelessness, and ending things. He'll come for all at their last breath, lord and peasants, crooks and kings. Mistra, goddess of all mages, she provides and tends the weave. Revered by many through the ages, all magic we receive we from her receive. I think I messed it up. <gasps> Oral histories of Faerun, paladin oath breakers. Okay, there's stuff to be had over here. The locket opens to reveal an intricate illustration of a stone tower. The words El Turiel, strength and unity, are inscribed across the top. Oh, I did give myself this amulet, by the way. It has a speak with the dead level 3 necromancer spell on it. I don't think I can do level 3s yet, but I have it anyway. Though clearly old, this handbell has managed to maintain its bold print over time. For one season only, see the plate that sent El Turiel's Everlight Theater into chaos. The sharp tongued traveling troop presents The Folly and the Fall, a tragedy in four parts. Part one of Lost Nethriel, the great wizarding empire and humanity's age of wonder. Part two of the great mage Karsus, his brief and terrible godhood and the ruin he wrought. Part three of Nethriel's Fall, a thousand years of shade and Shar's subversion. Part four of Nethriel's return and its shadow falling upon the land. Penned by the great Baron Bard, Bragan Feg, the Folly in the Fall tells a true story of the flying Netheria city, Thultanathar, and its dramatic return after a thousand years in exile on Shara's Plain of Shadow. See the dramatic battle above Mithranor, rendered, rendered in stunning detail thanks to the finest thaumaturges of the coast. That would be a fun job. Using your magic to like help uh, create illusions for entertainment. Direct on your village green as the sharp tongued traveling troop makes its transit into Baldur's Gate. See it now or face a thousand years of sorrow. I wonder if we'll be able to get to see it. I am betting we have to get to Baldur's Gate at some point. And. Oh, I want it to give it to me. And I did, yeah. We learned recently that sometimes you have to right click things and pick them up. You're an impressive fighter, Gale. You should consider a new name. Take it you have some suggestions. The wizard wonder. Or oh my the gosh. The master of the week. Tempting. But I think we might already have the maximum number of theatrical titles. Like in the squad. Waste a step. Okay, I could go left or I could go straight. But I was told to try to take out the hyenas as fast as especially the particular the particular hyena that um 
tries to go warn the others. Let's try to restrain it. Dang it. I'm hoping to make it too slippery for it to do anything. Yeah, we gotta just leave the bloated by hyenas where they are. Whew, okay, the opportunity of attack. All right, okay. I do have advantage, okay, on the this one. On all of them, but. All because they're bloated and down, so that's that's good. <laughs> so much for peace. Yeah, well, listen here, girly. We don't have a, we don't okay. have a ton of options. Dang it! I was wondering if I was gonna hit that. Alas. <laughs> Dark one's blessing. Oh, did I use up a thing? Weapon action. Must take a short rest. I shouldn't have used that. Dang it. Okay. Quick. Uh, quick save. Yes, we're gonna save scum the crap out of this. What is that? A hyena ear? Ugh, combine three of these to calcinate them into ashes. Gross. Thank you for telling me, though, what it can be useful for. I wonder if this is worth the cost. I wonder if this is worth the cost. We are still in combat. I just realized, technically. Shall we dance? So... What is this? Click to jump to the character whose turn it is. Okay, it's because maybe they have sensed that there is combat to be had up here, but I don't want to go up there. What if we just, if we just go, go past them and get out of combat? I don't really know how to get out of combat. I guess we could go back around. I just don't- oh, okay, because they are there. Okay. Well, we could shoot them from down here. Yeah, okay. Actually. Actually. Yes. We can shoot them from down here. And... I know that it's not great. Delicious. <laughs> Try something else. The narrator's target. Uh, don't be mean to me, narrator. <laughs> Whew, okay. That was. close. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, so I tried to see how how far I could get without the trolls, but I think I'm just gonna bring the trolls in because I summoned them way too late. But I got pretty far. There were only two gnolls left um, at the end, so we did a pretty good job, but this will go hopefully a lot faster with the trolls. Oh, that sucks. Uh, apparently sometimes it doesn't work, it would appear. Unleash me, he says. Oh my. He said he has actually probably the coolest lines, honestly. Excellent. Hopefully the acid damage kills that one. Try something else. Okay, narrator. Okay, woo, it worked. Natasha's hideous laughter worked. It can try to throw it off, but... Oh, of co Wait, oh no, okay. I was like, of course! He died. Um, but that was Will. He took the brunt of that. Thanks, Will. I wanna try to get over there. I know I'm like... I'm putting myself in danger, but I want to hit him if he stays prone. And we are really at a disadvantage down here. This 
Okay. That helped. Oh, never mind. Oh, jeez. But it will take damage. Haha. -ha. Oh, jeez. Two critical misses. That was lucky. Let's hope. Whew, okay. We are down to one. Okay, let's just try helping hand then, I guess. Yes, here. Yes, here. Dang it, I was hoping that by hiding over in that over there he wouldn't be able to reach him. I'll strike you down. <laughs> okay. Knolls are everywhere. We did it. Time to save. And I will loot and stuff later, but for now, we Freaking did it. <laughs> I don't know what we did better in this one, really, than we did in the other one. Didn't even get the trolls like I wanted. But, oh well. I'm gonna just... Oh, praise what I... Ooh, and I leveled up. I don't think my guys leveled up because they're dead. Or maybe they'll level up once they're not dead. But, anyway. This is the part where I normally say thank you to my patrons while I'm recording the video, but this is editing squirrel because there was a recent change to patron stuff, uh, to patron people, so I'm paying attention and I'm including that. So really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of you, including the acorns. Thank you so much, Adam, for your support at the acorn tier patron, and thank you so much, Fane, for your support at the acorn tier patron level. Uh, and I want to give a special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You've been supportive for a very long time and I appreciate that. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my forest tier patron and has gone above and beyond in his support of the channel for a long time now and who is just super supportive and super wonderful and comments all the time. I really appreciate you a lot. I hope you know that. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.